Margaret, and today I'm bringing you a video about Pinterest parties. In our group, International League of Thrifters, we host a daily Pinterest party to drive traffic to your listings and your stores to hopefully get more sales. So we've had some questions about how to participate correctly. The first thing I want to say is make sure that you read the rules at the top of each post. Ours are generally the same for every Pinterest party, but there are other groups that have different rules than ours. So if you're participating in ours and then going over to the thrifting board, their rules may vary a little bit from ours. So it's very important that whichever group you're in, you familiarize yourself with those rules so that you don't get kicked out of the Pinterest party for one and the group for the second. All right, guys, so here we have our group, the International League of Thrifters, and I've pulled it right up onto our Pinterest party. So each day there's a different Pinterest party, and today Rachel is hosting it, and it is about Halloween. So I'm going to check through the description before I go find my items to add. All right, so the rules here state that I can share one item, and it has to be Halloween-related, Anything that does not meet that criteria will be deleted. And then here is the, one of the rules. I have to pin the item directly above mine and at least two other items from the thread. Okay, and then more if I have good, if I want good karma. <laughs> All right, if there are not three posts above mine when I come, let's say I come and there's only one above me, I have to come back and pin later. And then it says click the like button once you have shared so everyone knows your item has been pinned. So let's scroll down and take a look. Oh, yay, there's tons of people. So it should all be Halloween-related items. So here I see Harry Potter patch. Now I'm also seeing... Oh, that's... I was like, wait a minute. So I'm also seeing that some people are writing the word pinned instead of just hitting the like button. I'm not sure if that's a, a new rule that we have in place. I know we've talked about it. But we didn't put it up here, so that might be part of the confusion. So we'll do both, and then I'll talk to the admins about do we want to click like, or do we want to make sure we put pinned, or do both, I don't know. So for now, we'll do both. <laughs> so now, what I'm going to do, I already have a Pinterest account, but what I'm going to do is pull up my eBay store. Of course it's slow. Or I could do Etsy if I had you know, an Etsy store, which I do. Okay, so I'm pulling at my Etsy shop. You can use your eBay store, your Etsy store, doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to view my shop and let's see if I have anything Halloween related. Let me see, hello, hello. Oh, let's spell it right, Halloween. All right, so I've got some Halloween items. Here is, oh here, this is cute, Day of the Dead. So I'm going to uh, open my Day of the Dead wrap bracelets and I'm going to select the URL up at the top and I'm gonna copy it like so. Now you can click command copy on your Mac or you can select it all and then um, right click it and select copy with your mouse. Come back over to the International League of Thrifters and then scroll all the way to the bottom. All the way. Oh my gosh, where's the bottom? <laughs> Do -do -do, there it is. And then I'm going to paste it in there. So that is my item there. Now the rules stated that I have to pin the one directly above mine and then two more. So what I do is I open them up in another tab. So on my computer, I'm hitting command. I'm holding the command button down when I click on their link to open it up. So that one, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the, the three right above. So it has to be the one directly above and then two others. So you might have, you might can look at the other ones. Oh, look at that. So now I've got these opened up, and I'm not gonna come over and write that I pinned them yet until I actually do it. So here we go. And now I'm, I have a Pinterest link in my, um, on my, what is this called? Toolbar. So I will click my Pinterest button and select the one I would like to save. And I can pick my board here, and I can search, either I can put it on my iLot board or I can search for a Halloween board because I know I've got a Halloween board. Halloween board, there we go. So that's going on my Halloween board. And I can close that out now. These faux eyelashes, cute. These are also, let's see, I'll put these on my iLot board right there on the International League of Thrifters board. And then this Nightmare Before Christmas lot, cute. I will put 
on my eyeline board. All right, now I'm coming back to the Facebook group and I will select like on the ones that I pinned. I'm going to go ahead and also write pinned on them as well. Pinned, pinned, and once again, pinned. So that is basically how you um, participate in the Pinterest party. Another way I'll do this is I'll select something that meets the criteria from my Pinterest board, but you can choose something that you've already pinned there or you can choose something from your own shop. And now I started to wonder as I did this if this is the part that's throwing you off. If you don't have the Pinterest um, icon on your, th on your toolbar up here, you may, you know, come across this and just not know how to pin it or what to do. I'm going to open this listing in in a Firefox to see. Not right now, because I don't have the Pinterest button up here in Firefox. Like, if you if that's what's throwing you off, and let's see if there's another way to pin it. So, see here. Let's say this was the item I was wanting to pin. There's not a Pinterest button up here, so maybe that is what's throwing some of you off. So here's something else you can do down here, pin it, and then you will have to sign into your Pinterest from there to pin the item. Okay, so hopefully that helps you if you were being thrown off by not knowing where to find the pin it button, because mine, I put it on my, uh, I keep forgetting the name of this toolbar up at the top, um, but you can also find it down here to share it in that way, Pinterest. And then on eBay, if you were going to pin the item and again did not have the Pinterest button up here on your toolbar, there is a pin button here, this red and white P. So if you select that, it will pop up your Pinterest boards and you can select the one you'd like to pin it on. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you found it super helpful and that you can participate now in the Pinterest parties and get some of your listings sold. Mm -hmm.